everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so for today's video i don't have any new products to share with you guys but i did want to do a gel x nail hack that recently i have been getting a lot of questions from you guys in my comment section asking if you can pre-paint your gel x nails before applying them to make it a little bit easier whether you're struggling with nail art you want to be able to work with both hands just having it an easier way to do it or if you're having problems with doing your opposite hand so i really wanted to just do a video and try this out to see if it was able if we were able to pre-paint our gel x nails before actually applying them and I really really love this I actually had a lot of fun doing it and I thought it was something really cool to try out so let's go ahead and jump right in here today I am going to be using products from daily charm I do have a discount code with daily charm that discount code is nailed by brandy and it will save some money off your purchases so as you guys may know I absolutely love the daily charm charm gel extension system especially the their soft gel nail tips. Today I will be using the extra long coffin but I am going to be clipping these down just a little bit to make them more of a long instead of an extra long length. I also did show the inside of the case here just so you can see the sizes if you want to go back and pause that to see if these nail tips will fit you. Um, I mentioned this before, I think it's really nice that Daily Charm does include the size measurements of the nails. That way you can see the sizes, you can make sure they're going to fit you before you actually go in and purchase them. So I did go ahead and take off my glove and I am quickly just going to size out these nails. Like always, when you are sizing out your nail tips, you just want to make sure they fit from sidewall to sidewall, perfectly fitting around your cuticle. If you are in between sizes, always size up, never size down. If your nail tips are too small and you are experiencing your nails popping off or lifting, that could possibly be the reason for that because when the nails are too small, they're going to strain on your natural nail and want to pop off. So after I had the nail tips all sized out, I took my little magnet pieces out here and my nail tip cutter and I am just going to be going through here and clipping down the nails to the length I want. Of course you can just purchase long coffin instead of extra long coffin but I actually realized that I don't have any of the long coffin ones so that is definitely something in my cart currently for Daily Charm. That way I don't have to go through here with the extra step of cutting them down. It was also a little bit difficult to do this because I will, of course, have to cut them down before applying them because I'm going to pre-design them, pre-paint them. So doing some extra steps before doing that is obviously kind of like you need to do this if you're going to pre-paint your nails. That way you have the nail length length, shape that you already want, you can paint them, and then you will be able to apply them. I hope this is all making sense, but don't worry, you will see exactly what I'm talking about by pre-painting the nails just in a little bit here, but first I am clipping down the nails. I will also just be taking a hand file and crisping and straightening the free edge of the nails, and I don't think I did any more shaping to the nails because Honestly, I thought they were, of course, still a very nice coffin shape. Once I had the nail tips cut down to the length that I wanted and the free edge was 
filed and straightened up. I am now just going to be taking a dust brush and removing all of the extra dust and then I have my nail tips ready. Of course you can completely skip this step of cutting and filing if you do already have the nail tips the length that you want them. So because we are going to be pre-painting them I am going to take this nail tip stand here which is actually the cutest nail tip stand I have ever seen and I am just going to be using this to make it a little bit easier to be able to hold the nail. The blue putty stuff I purchased from Amazon, I believe it's called like sticky tack or putty, something like that, and I am just using that to hold the nail tip on the nail stand. For my French tip color, I am going to be using a very soft baby pink, kind of like a jelly color, and also the nail art liner brush. I don't remember the name of this gel polish, I believe it was like rose or something like that, but just check the description box if you are interested in this color because I will be linking it below down there. So this is where we really dive in and try this Gel X pre-painted nail hack. So basically what I would have done is just applied the nail tips to my natural nails and then I would have designed and painted the nails. But we're basically doing it kind of a switch way to where before applying them I'm going to pre-paint them, I'm going to draw on my French tips and do any other nail art that I want to do, and then once the nail art is complete I will apply them to my natural nails. So basically I'm just switching up the steps to make it a little bit easier and really turning this into a hack whether or not we can pre-paint our Gel X nails to make it a little bit easier, especially if you are struggling with nail art or if you're struggling with doing designs on your gel x nails once they are already applied to your natural nails so i am going to be doing french tips because basically when you are doing nails you want to make sure that the nail tip is still going to be like see-through giving a jelly look transparent if you are using a color gel polish such as such as black covering the entire nail with a black gel polish pre-painting it before you apply it it is not going to fully cure. That is another reason why doing French tips can be an alternative if you want to use black, if you want to make your nails black. Doing the nails, pre-painting them, you wouldn't be able to paint the entire nail black. It wouldn't cure but you could do black French tips instead because you can see here that the cuticle area of the nail where I'm going to be adhering it to my natural nail, it is completely clear still. I am not covering that with any product that is colored or anything like that. So I am going to be able to fully cure the gel when applying this nail to my natural nail. I hope that all makes sense there. I do get this question a lot, so I kind of just wanted to explain a little bit. For this pink color here, if I wanted to do a full nail with this pink, it totally would have been able to, I totally would have been able to do that because you can see here that the pink is very light colored. It is also more of a jelly gel polish. It has that transparent look to it. So I really didn't have to do French tip nails, but doing French tips, it kind of just gave you guys a little bit more of a nail art design where you can practice your French tips, you can use both of your hands to do the French tips, and then you can still adhere them to your natural nails. So for the French tips, I just took some of that pink gel polish, put some out on my nail art palette, and then I am using that line art brush and creating my smile line, and then I'll take the actual gel polish bottle and fill in the rest of my smile line. For the first coat, I did a 30, 15 to 30 second cure. I then went in with my second coat just to help build up that color, repeating the same thing, taking the line brush to over outline my smile line, and then taking the gel polish bottle to fill in the rest of the nail. So coming back to the main question that is being asked here is can you pre-paint your Gel X nails before applying them? And the answer is yes. I did briefly explain that, but again, only with non-opaque colors. The UV LED lamp can't cure through the dark colors. So if you are doing French tips and you 
leaving the cuticle and natural nail bed area completely clear, you can use darker colors. You can use dark blue, black, dark green, dark purple. You can use any color if you are doing a simple design as a French tip because you are still leaving the nail bed area of the nail completely clear and the gel is going to be able to cure fully. Now if you want to paint the entire nail, covering the entire nail, making it easy on yourself if you're having troubles with getting a lot of polish on your skin or something like that, you will not be able to use those opaque colors such as dark blue, dark purple, black, brown. All of those colors are going to be very, very hard for the nail lamp to fully cure, get that full cure through that dark gel color, curing the gel to your natural nail making you have problems with you can get um, allergic reactions from having uncured gel on your skin and on your natural nail plate. So the answer is yes, you can pre-paint your nail tips. And honestly, I really loved this hack. I think I totally want to continue doing it, especially because I feel like with doing this, I can do some intricate designs, nail art, and then I can still apply the nails using gel. Another thing that I want to mention is that you can create nails like this covering the entire nail using a dark blue, dark black, brown, purple, whatever color you want doing very intricate designs covering the entire nail and instead of using gel to adhere them, you can of course also just opt for using an air dried nail glue product, basically making press-ons instead of doing gel extensions. So that is also another option here. But I really loved this. I loved how I was able to easily make French tip designs. And I will also be doing some more design on the French tips as well. And I think honestly, it just made it a lot easier because I was able to use both of my hands, do the designs on the nails. And if I were to apply this to my right hand using my non-dominant hand, my left hand to apply them, I still would have had a very matching set on both hands. And it wouldn't even like nobody would have noticed that I did these nails using both hands on the nail stand here. So after I had all of the French tips complete, I am now going to be going in with this Daily Charm Glow in the Dark Neon Orange, kind of like a powder. I first started off by applying a base coat to the nail, curing that for 15 to 30 seconds in the nail lamp, and then I am going to be taking this um, like powder, kind of like a pigment powder, but it is glow in the dark. I actually forgot that it was glow in the dark when I was doing this nail set, so there will not be any shots at the end of these nails glowing because it totally slipped my mind that this powder was glow in the dark. I did start off by trying to use a q-tip but personally I didn't really like the effect that was giving so I did go in with just a smaller fluffy brush and I am just going to pat this pigment powder into the cured base coat. The reason I used a base coat instead of a top coat is because the base coat is going to leave me a nice sticky layer and that is going to really help the powder just stick and get into the sticky layer of the base coat. To to do this it's basically just like you can use a dip or acrylic powder to do this as well it is just a like ombre scrub method you can also use an airbrush if you would like as well or a sponge with gel polish basically I just kind of want that Aurora effect on the nails so I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat this to all of the other nails I really hope that you guys are enjoying this video and honestly I hope it helps the questions that you guys have been asking about the pre-painting your gel X nails before applying them
hear how the nails are looking after I had that orange powder onto the nails, really creating that beautiful Aurora effect. I am now going to be taking this metallic silver charm gel art gel liner. I don't really know what this is called, but it is a beautiful, beautiful metallic gel. It is perfect for doing French tips, outlines, designs. It is a thicker gel. I absolutely love it. And I am just going to be doing that very trendy, like, metallic design on these nails, just drawing some different abstract lines, just focusing it all again on the French tip area, using that same line art brush. Another thing that I did forget to mention is once I had that powder applied to the nails, I did go ahead and seal it in with a thin layer of top coat, curing that for 30 seconds, moving on to all of the nails, and then that's now we are here going in with the last step that I'm going to be doing before actually applying these to my natural nails. And I am just quickly going in with some different abstract lines on all of the nails. And I went ahead and cured this for 30 seconds. I also took a dotting tool just to add some dots around the lines as well just to help fill in some space and add some different abstract to these nails. I'm just going to go ahead and let the rest of this play out because I really don't have much to talk about but I really hope that you guys are enjoying the video. If you are and haven't subscribed yet please make sure you subscribe and give the video a like. It really helps me out a lot and if you are feeling generous go ahead and leave a comment below.
once I was finished with all of the French tips and the designs, here were how the nails were looking. We are now ready to apply these nails. So I started off by applying my peel off base coat. If you do want your nails to last, make sure you definitely go in with prepping your nails, doing all of that prep. I will go ahead and leave a video link down below. That way you can watch that video where I go in depth on prepping. But for this video, I just went ahead and applied my peel off base coat. Because I want the nail bed proportion of these nails to be nude, I am going to be creating my own DIY custom base color. So generally when I am using a color base or a colored builder gel to apply my Gel X nails, I like to go in with a layer of that color, just a very thin coat on all of the nails, just to help build the color up a little bit to really help be able to see that color through the nails, giving just the perfect base color. So I applied that color to all of the nails. This is actually one of my favorite nudes from Daily Charm. I cured that for 30 seconds and now I'm going to be mixing up my colored base. So this gel polish is kind of already a jelly gel polish. It's that very milky nude color, but I still like to mix those types of colors with a clear gel polish as well, just to help kind of give it a little bit more of a transparent look and thin the polish out a little bit, just so I can be sure that it gets that full cure when I place it into the nail lamp. So I went ahead, just put out some of the new gel polish on my palette, and I also poured out some of the 5-in-1 strengthening gel, which is basically just a thicker base coat consistency. I mixed those two together, and that is what I am going to be using as my DIY colored base to apply these Gel X nails, giving the absolute perfect nude base color. So I apply the gel polish just covering where the clear part of the nail is, focusing it on the natural nail part of the nail. I turn my nail lamp on, I place that nail tip down starting at the cuticle area, slowly lowering it at a 45 degree angle until the product has reached the free edge of my natural nail and there is no bubbles in the nail. I hold it in place, do a quick flash cure for about 15 to 30 seconds under the nail lamp. I then just move along to the next nail and then once I have all of the nails on I will actually do a full cure of 60 seconds just to make sure the gel is fully cured. Now if you are using a clear gel to apply these instead you probably only have to do a 30 second cure but when you are using a colored gel I personally like to do a 60 second cure just to really make sure that the nails are in the lamp long enough and they do really get their full cure. I loved doing my nails like this. I totally want to do this again. Pre-painting your Gel X nails before applying them is a total game changer, a lifesaver, and the ultimate Gel X nail hack. I 100% recommend that you guys try out this nail hack, especially if you are struggling with doing both of your hands. You really want to have those perfect French tips or a perfect design on your nails but you're just struggling with it because you aren't advanced in nail art or if you just want to pre-design your nails have them ready to go and then the next time that you want to apply some nails you don't have to go through the hard work of designing them. I feel like this hack can definitely be for anyone whether you're whether or not you're a professional or a beginner. After all of the nails were applied and fully cured, I'm now going in with a little bit of filing. Keep in mind when you are filing the top side of your nails, you want to be very, very careful that you do not file off any of the French tip or any of the design that you did. Also with filing the free edge, also if you're like straightening up the shape anyway, just be very, very careful because you can file away all of that hard work and the design that you did on the nails. 
I didn't buff these nails, but if you were to want to buff them, you would of course want to do that before you even start doing the design on the nails because once you have the design on there, it's going to be way too hard to buff them. So if you are wanting to buff the nails, I would recommend honestly doing all and any of your filing before you begin doing the actual French tips or any design that you're going to be doing on the nails. I just think it would make it a lot Lot easier but I did go ahead gently go in and seal in the cuticle just make sure the free edge was completely crisp and straight how I like it after I was all finished with that I removed any of the nail dust and now I am just going in and applying the diamond shine top coat to all of the nails you can also do this before you actually apply the nails if you really want to but I decided that I would just go ahead and apply them and then go ahead and finish it off with my top coat so I applied that top coat and cured for 30 seconds in the nail lamp Here are how the nails are looking. I am now going in with some cuticle oil, applying that to my cuticles to nourish them. And of course, like I always say, top off the nail set. And I absolutely love how these nails turned out. I totally will be doing this hack again. Just having the nails pre-painted before applying them it just felt like this nail set was a lot easier to achieve I feel like I can do a lot more nail art versus if I were doing it on my actual nails once the nails were applied I also feel like this is so perfect for doing your opposite hand I feel like I cannot stress that enough but next time when I'm doing both hands, if I'm going on vacation or where I just need to have both of my nails, both of my hands done and have nails on both of them, I will totally be doing it this way, pre-painting them before applying them because really it is such a lifesaver. I totally love this. And for all of you asking if you can pre-paint your Gel X nails before applying them, I hope this video helped you out. I also hope that this helped you whether or not you are questioning that or wondering that or if you were just struggling with doing designs on your nails. I do apologize for the glare on the nails for some reason. The top coat was just giving a very, very bad glare this day, but I do have some outside shots as well, so you'll be able to see them in the daylight without as much of a glare. I really don't know why there was a glare on there so bad. Just having all of the lights on the nails, sometimes I just can't really get the nails without the glare. Let me know what you guys think about this design. I also really liked how the design turned out doing the very light pink French tips and then having the super bright orange neon pigment giving that very pretty aurora effect and then having the beautiful metallic silver abstract look. I just think these nails were so perfect especially with how they turned out and the easy way of how I created them just doing the design and then applying them with some DIY colored base. I love them. I recommend that you guys try this. It will definitely be a lifesaver, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.